Hello. Welcome to Yoga Robot. Yoga Sequence 3. Neck and Shoulders. Saddle Sander Adaptation. Lie down on your mats with knees bent and the soles of your feet on mat a comfortable distance from buttocks. And now exhale. Inhale. Bring your left arm out to your side. Along the floor to overhead exhale. As you bring arm back down inhale. Right arm along floor to overhead exhale. As you bring arm back down inhale. And bring left arm to overhead. The day of the burn we had a few last minute details to hammer out with the artery and one of them was to get fuel for a burn. So I was driving to the artery to make that request and I always drove by the way project. Like, there was a few people there. Normally I stop and give them some stickers but um, I, was, I was in a hurry so I went straight there. On the way back I noticed the same people were still there so I pulled in to say hi and I parked my bike at the corner to go say hi and hand them some stickers and they immediately stopped me and said we need you to move right now and i'm like what the heck we're cleansing the energy and you need to be out of this space and so i i didn't know what to do and i immediately moved my bike and realized i just got kicked off my own project by a bunch of hippies a bunch of energy cleansing hippies and yeah it just floored me it was quite funny Uh, perimeter goes. How far are we gonna go? Like originally we were thinking 50 feet, but they've expanded our DG. So I think I was kind of doing the math today, and we're looking at like a 75 foot circle around this. It's the appropriate. BT, you and I will pound snakes. Keep on, you will lay it out. Standing around, just being told what to do. And I'm bringing a little bit of sexy toes, obviously. Yeah, in case the ranger guy asked us, what were our roles assigned as on the burn plan? Ron is fire coordinator. Okay. Oh, hey, Ron. You're lighting it. You're lighting it. Yeah. You are. That flare works. We already decided you're lighting it. Well, I got a special suit for that, I guess. You want a suit? I'll get you a fucking suit. So, uh, Wednesday night, uh, we're getting ready to burn the waves. Had a little pre wave meeting here. And um, come back in two hours to pull all the lights and douse it with fuel and torch it. Just told old man Simmer he's, uh, he's lighting it. <laughs> he's excited. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. put up our perimeter fence. There was an art car or two that were, were driving by almost immediately. As soon as they see an art project going dark, they know that it's going to be on fire, so they show up. We had to remove all the electrical and all the lighting, and then once that was done, then we had to, to put fuel on it and ignite it. So there was a lot of time to build momentum and build the anticipation of the crowd.
Well, I, of course, I, I was in this hazmat suit. I, I lit the, the fire to start with, and I was amazed to see it go up so well and so fast. I guess none of us wanted to see it. So one of these burns where things sort of sputter, pop, and don't really work out too well. And people sit there for half an hour getting bored watching it. So it went up very quickly. It was clean, and nobody was hurt. No explosions. Or no, and everybody was very happy with it. And uh, Burning Man safety people liked it. Uh, they thought our permit was terrific. It was a perfect burn in many ways. freaking amazing. We knew it was gonna burn well, but good God, can't even stay in the perimeter. It's awesome. Watching the way it burned, seeing that uh, fire tornado swoop out and then take some coals with it 30 feet, and yeah, that was pretty exciting. Project. It feels really great. Um, it went up in flames and that was a little bit of a dust storm. So yeah, happy to see the breaking wave burn. bigger. Oh, it's oh, fantastic. Burn went off perfectly. The fire guys said that it was one of the best they've seen in a long time. Oh, it's just great. I'm so glad that it's pulled off just the way it did. Doing it was what mattered, not the, not the, not the sculpture itself. I so it lives in people's memories and it's just they used to send things. It's a trans transitory thing that was out for a few days and now it's no more. So we're onward and upward for next year. It's 
It's been a margarita morning. It's been good. Uh, Curtis is a trooper and we've been out here tending the fire for the late shift. Um, yeah, so now we're out here to do the final cleanup. We have to basically get rid of all of our uh, charcoal and iron burned wood. So we've still got a pile of uh, smoldering embers there. A couple hours, I think, till we can bag that up. But uh, Greg is taking care of all the metal and nails with the uh, metal break. Right. The fire art safety team had uh, three members here. They gave us good praise, good accolades. Uh, even requested a souvenir. He wanted one of the, the loopy rings from the little dock. Uh, last night was good. Pershing County Sheriff gave us a 10 out of 10. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I think, I think everything went well. There was plenty of feedback from you know, Burning Man officials and, and even law enforcement officials, fire people. Um, but I don't know, that, that feedback is, is good in a way, but I think the best feedback comes from uh, people, and especially my peers. Those are the people that I want to impact, for sure, because those are the things that carry on. I think the wave turned out to be exactly what we all envisioned it to be. I think we pulled together and, and got the project that we saw in our heads in, in place, in physical space, and it was really amazing to see all the responses from people lining up and asking about it and visiting and just chilling out on the project. I just think it was great to work with the group of people I did work with. We had ups and downs, we all had our strengths and weaknesses, but all in all it was a great experience for me. The, the people we, we met are all, were very positive about our project and we got very great feedback on it. So we did a good thing and we're, we accomplished something. The Burning Man organization likes us and uh, like most people figure they're definitely going to participate in some project or other next year, so I, I hope so too. I'd like to be. Part of it as long as I can, I can uh, stand up and move. Just work, work, find a great team and work with your team. No one person can do this. It's too big. It's over, it's done. We no longer have to work at this. <laughs>